that should be used on education, on national health care, and all the other priorities that we have here in the United States. Professor Clara, we hope you come back. You, you're a wonderful guest. We're very lucky to get you. I want to thank you for taking a half an hour out of your busy schedule uh, to speak with us. Once again, tell our listeners uh, uh, about uh, where they can find out more about your work and uh, your book. Well, a couple of things. Uh, we've now made a documentary movie based on my book, Blood and Oil, and you could see a trailer for the movie and order it at bloodandoilmovie.com. That's www.bloodandoilmovie.com. And I wish people would take a look at my new book, Rising Powers, Shrinking Planet, The New Geopolitics of Energy. It's at all the bookstores and available online. I've read it. It's wonderful. Thank you, Professor Clare. My pleasure. Have a good day, sir. Thank you. We're going to get our next guest on the line here. We're listening to The Truth About Money with John Sakowicz and Jay Johnson. We're going to pull up some music and get our next guest on. We'll be right back. All right, we're back on The Truth About Money with John Sakowicz and Jay Johnson. We have our next guest on the line. John, you want to do the intro? Sure. Our uh, our next guest is, uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Professor Michael Clare. I, I really hope uh, our listening audience goes out and uh, sees the trailer for the movie Blood and Oil and uh, and reads his book as well. We hope to get Professor Clare back on. A half an hour just isn't enough. And a half an hour isn't going to be enough with our next guest, Francis Boyle. Francis Boyle is professor of international law at the University of Illinois, and he is the author of Breaking all rules and destroying world order he said last week it is and i quote it is curious but not surprising how the bush administration has now found new respect for international law in georgia and the caucuses but it did not have that respect when one the u.s invaded iraq and afghanistan two when israel invaded lebanon and palestine and attacked syria and threatened to attack iran three We didn't have that kind of respect for international law when Ethiopia invaded Somalia and when uh, Colombia attacked Ecuador. From an international law perspective, the real issue here is whether the Secretary of State, Condoleezza Rice, when she visited uh, Tbilisi a month ago, whether she gave the uh, proverbial green light for Georgia to attack uh, South uh, Odessa and thus deliberately provoke an overreaction by Russia. Professor Boyle also wonders how this fits in with the U.S. Naval Armada currently steaming for the Persian Gulf and a possible military confrontation with Iran over its right to engage in nuclear enrichment under the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. Professor Boyle, welcome to our show. Well, thank you very much for having me on and my best to your listening audience. Thank you, sir. Um, We introduced the show with a a piece that uh, ran yesterday in Bloomberg. Uh, It was by uh, Michael Nichols, and it was about uh, how John McCain's, probably John McCain's biggest supporters in the world are his former captors at Hanoi Hilton. That uh, that with the new surge in prosperity and free trade in Vietnam, uh, his former captors are communists in name only, are rabid free market capitalists and uh, actually have given him money, have given him endorsements, et cetera, et cetera, which is so ironic when you think about, uh, you know, why, why uh, we were told we were in Vietnam, uh, you know, 30 years ago. Are we being fed kind of the same pack of lies now about the Middle East, you know, that this is about ideology and Islamic fundamentalism, this, that, and the other thing, when really it's all about the money? I, I think you are correct, uh our entire policy toward the Middle East and Central Asia these days is determined first by uh, access to oil and gas and second by Israel and the Israel lobby. That's correct. And almost everything you see today in the mainstream news media is is pretty much uh, disinformation designed to uh, disguise those two uh, motivations. My uh, my co-host here, Jane Johnson, is uh, a media entrepreneur. Um, he's got his own media company. In fact, uh, we're, uh, we're, we videotape uh, these radio shows, and they run online, and they have actually a pretty good audience. Um, certainly, we've seen the conglomeration of media in our generation, but I find it hard to believe, and I guess I'm still a dewy-eyed idealist, I find it hard to believe that the media is this gullible. I mean, our motives seem, after speaking with Professor uh, Michael Clare, who's a work I'm sure you're familiar with, it seems so obvious that our motives are about the oil and oil pipelines in, in, uh, in Georgia and the Caspian Sea. 
Uh, why isn't that reported? You know, why is it reported? Why is all this uh, Cold War Cold War rhetoric, uh, you know, revived? And, uh, you know, we're told this is about, you know, Georgia's independence and, uh, you know, democracy and supporting democracy and a potential uh, uh, new member of uh, NATO. Why, why doesn't the media just come out? You know, why doesn't the Wall Street Journal come out and say, D- you know, it's about the oil? Well, uh, you know, I think others uh, have written about this uh, besides me, but certainly the media today is just interlocked with the uh, war industry and uh, that's further interlocked to the oil and gas industry. So, of course, uh, they're not going to spill the beans. Uh, what can I say? They're going to uh, 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 dress it up in um, uh, whatever uh, clothing they want to, to conceal the real truth of the American people. That you know, uh, uh, Let's take the uh, war against uh, Afghanistan by, by Bush. That, that war was clearly designed to... Uh, uh, put us right there into uh, Central Asia uh, and to uh, give us more than a foothold so that we could get direct access to all the oil and gas of uh, uh, Central Asia uh, militarily. Now, of course, um, I'm sure you're, you're, you, you, you know better than I, uh, 